Hey everyone, welcome to the June 2021 unboxing of the Keto Crate. Stick around so you can learn how to win your very own Keto Crate, but also don't forget, you can skip the line and use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate. Enough talking, more unboxing, Lego. Savor sweet summer vibes. Well, yes, yes I will, Keto Crate. Thank you for the encouragement. Once again, this is just the literature, the insert, that they give you, I don't wanna look cause I feel like they're showing me what's in here. Like it has to be a surprise, right? But just the literature inserts, recipes, inspirational stories, I'm all the way here for it after I see what's in here, okay? All right, first, oh my gosh. Ooh, ice chips candy, okay. I've had these before except they were the peppermint version. Legit, one of the best things I've really ever had on keto. So we don't really have a lot of hard candy on the keto diet, but these ice chips were delicious. The thing is, I don't like fruit flavored things, but I love sour things and I love sour candies. So like, if this is gonna give me like a lemon head vibe, I am definitely here for it. Ice chips, lemon, sweetened with xylitol. Pets beware. <laughs> the serving size is two pieces or two grams hate to break it to you the serving size is all of this right um but for two pieces they're of course five calories zero grams of fat two carb two sugar alcohols and zero protein you guys this is straight xylitol that you're eating right it's gonna be a lot of total carbs with sugar alcohol subtracted but these things are absolutely delicious no corn sugar soy wheat gluten or dairy oh they're vegan i love that for them ingredients xylitol Natural flavors, lemon oil, citric acid, cream of tartar, calcium, ooh, stearate. Either way, obsessed. I cannot wait to try these. What I can't wait to try is a meat stick. Oh my God, and look who it's from. Singing Pastures, well, you don't gotta tell me twice. Um, this is pork for the planet. This is a Rome stick made with pasture-raised heritage pork. Now, I will say that I love that. I love the high quality ingredients, even if they waste it on a meat stick, right? Uh, this is, is it just regular? Oh, pineapple, wait a minute, it is beyond not regular, it is pineapple. Once again, I don't care, like I don't want this, right? And then you can tell it's definitely more of a sausage linky sort of thing than your, your run of the mill meat stick. It is a lot thicker, good for them. You know, I love how they're going with the pineapple ham sort of situation. I would really be excited for my husband and mother to try this, not me, and uh, not so much. The ingredients, 100% pasture raised pork, pineapple chunks, which include pineapple and added sugar, you tried it, um, water, sea salt, organic dextrose from tapioca. okay, celery juice powder, black pepper, starter culture, okay, stuffed in a dye-free casing. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, it doesn't have any nutritional information on it. I'd have to imagine that since the second ingredient is pineapple chunks with pineapple and added sugar, maybe this is like two to three grams carbs. I won't have to worry about it because I won't be eating a lot of it, but I will be interested to see how this tastes. I'll honestly be more interested for my family to try it. Next we have, oh, Hilo Life spicy salsa tortilla chips. I've already had these because Hilo Life sent me an awesome box with all three of their flavors of chips and these are so good. So what I love about these, these are almond flour tortilla chips. So normally like the Quest tortilla chips, which are also delicious, they are protein powder based, right? So they're a little thin on the texture. These are super sturdy and they're just super delicious. I'm, I already love these. Nutrition facts, one serving per bag is 150 calories, 10 grams of fat, five total carbs, two grams of fiber, so that's three net carbs, and then nine grams of protein. These are absolutely delicious. They do give you that chip powder residue on your hands. They are a little spicy, like I cannot wait to try these. Like I said, if I could buy these in the store right next to Quest Chips, I would definitely alternate and go back and forth, right? These are delicious. Oh, now we have Love Good Fats. Chewy Nutty Bar. Now these are the ones that I've really liked. There, there's some other Love Good Fats bars out there and I just can't jive with the texture, but these Chewy Nutty Bars have always been good for me. Salted Caramel Flavor, ugh, that looks like it's going to be delicious. 
serving size is one bar. It's 180 calories, 13 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, 11 fiber. Ah, so that's four net carbs. Uh, and then eight grams of protein. Okay, so the first ingredient is the fats blend, which is the dry roasted almonds, toasted unsweetened coconut, organic virgin coconut oil, and MCT. That's not bad. Okay, the very next ingredient is tapioca fiber. So that's where all that fiber is coming from. And then they have fava bean crisps. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. More with tapioca starch and all that stuff. And you know, chicory root fiber. I mean, this is probably gonna be a really good texture. So I'm just interested in trying it because the salted caramel flavor definitely looks like something I would like. Mmm, something I would not like. Oh, maybe finally for once, maybe. <laughs> Pazoots, okay, gourmet peanuts. But if you look, the flavor of these is only sea salt and cracked pepper. You guys, Pazoots be finding a way to flavor their peanuts with the grossest. <laughs> like, I think it was really just the salt and vinegar that we truly hated. But like, just the flavors are just so odd. But I think we can get down with sea salt and cracked pepper. I'll be interested to see that. Okay, ingredients, peanuts, sea salt, ground black pepper, water. Yeah, you can't go wrong there. Okay, so there are 1.45 servings per container. That don't make no sense. Per serving, there's 140 calories, 11 grams of fat, five total carb, two fiber, so that's three net carb for one serving. So there's 1.45 servings and then seven grams of protein. I mean, that's not bad. That's probably how much there are in just regular peanuts, but I will be excited that this is a normal flavor that we can try. Look, if it's not sweet, I at least just want it to be salty, you know? All the other flavors of Pazoots that we've had have just been baffling. It is kosher, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, lactose-free, and non-GMO. Okay, I ain't mad at you. I'm really not mad at this flavor. Oh, next we have the People's Choice Beef Jerky. Old-fashioned jerky, original. I love the size of this bag. This is more like retail value here. And it definitely does look like jerky. It's not a meat stick. I'm excited about that. Handcrafted quality ingredients equals genuine beef jerky. So there are two and a half servings per container. Per serving, there's 90 calories, two and a half grams of fat, zero carbs, zero sugar. That's what I love to see. 16 grams of protein. The ingredients, beef, water, seasoning, which is sea salt, spices, and garlic powder. 100% here for that. Can't wait to try it. Oh, and then we have Kiss My Keto oh, butter cookies. Okay, I already know that I love these. The flavor of these is so delicious. I can't remember what they tasted like. I'm not sure if it was butter cookies, but I remember it tasting like something that I loved. Hello, there are two servings per container. Per serving, there are 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, 12 total carbs, five fiber, three grams of protein. Okay, and so sweetened with allulose. So there's four grams of allulose because I was like, what are these net carbs over here doing? So per serving, there are, I'm assuming three. So it's five fiber, four allulose. So three net carbs per serving of this. I am definitely here for it. Okay, we have a super coffee, rich and dairy free, mm, sweet cream. I love the thought of that. I just never really like canned coffee though, but this is Kai Tu Super Coffee. Per one can, 80 calories, three and a half grams of fat, three grams of carbs, one fiber, and 10 grams of protein. So that's two net carbs per can of this. The ingredients, Colombian coffee, pea protein, natural flavor, MCT oil, monk fruit, and then some potassium phosphate, looks like, like maybe preservatives and stuff, and then some gelatin gum just to thicken it up. I'm not mad at you, but, We'll have to see, like, I'm definitely not a canned coffee drinker, but these are great, you know, like if you're in the store right, right next to one of those super, super sugary Starbucks sort of situations, this is definitely a, a good choice. Hopefully I like the flavor. Then we have F-Bomb Keto Crunch uh, Cheddar High Fat Cheese Crisps. I absolutely love F-Bomb. What I normally have from them is their nut butters, which is delicious, but they also do make really good cheese crisps. Glad that it's just cheddar. Nutrition facts, so there are two servings per container. For each serving, there's 160 calories, 13 grams of fat, one gram of carb, less than one gram of fiber, so I'll always count that as a half, so like a half gram of carb per serving, and then nine grams of protein. Ingredients, pasteurized milk, salt, microbial coagulant. What? Why do they need to put that on there? And then cheese cultures. So yeah, this is just plain cheese. I will absolutely be looking forward to trying this crunchy and delicious snack. What? 
And then finally, something I have never, never, ever seen or heard of before. It's a company called Chip Monk. Have you heard of them? Let me know in the comments. Keto Bites. And of course, they're like a birthday cake flavor. Y'all know I love birthday cake flavor things. Don't disappoint me, Chipmunk. Okay, I'm trying to feel the texture. Are they like cookies or are they soft? I can't wait to dig into these. Nutrition facts. Oh, serving size is one bite. Okay, so they look, you know, so they might be a little bigger. I thought they were like little nuggets or something, but there's one bite is, and there are eight per container. So 90 calories, seven grams of fat, 10 total carbs two fiber, so that's zero sugar alcohol. So once again, I bet it's allulose in here, yep. And then two grams of protein. So the 10 total carbs minus two fiber minus seven allulose equals one gram of net carb per bite. Ingredients, almond flour, allulose, butter, eggs, rainbow sprinkles, which were made of erythritol, soluble corn fiber, palm kernel oil, sunflower lecithin, natural colors. Okay, so just a whole bunch of things that look like we make sprinkles, flavor, birthday cake flavor. I mean, hopefully this tastes delicious. Chipmunk bites are sweetened with allulose and monk fruit. Thanks for letting us know that. Okay, please refrigerate me after opening. Thanks for letting us know that. Okay, I've never heard of Chipmunk. I'm definitely gonna check out their website, see what other products they have, but I'm glad that the Keto Crate introduced me to it. That's what I love about the Keto Crate. Okay, that's it for this month. Overall, I would say this is a standardly good crate, okay? There are some things that I know that I love, there are some things that I'm really excited to try from brands that I already know that I love. Ugh, more things I know I love. Things that I'd be interested to try. And then some completely new brands that I've never even heard of before. Like, this is what you get when you get the Keto Crate. Do you want this Keto Crate? Comment down below. Let me know what you have tried or what you would be most excited to try out of this Keto Crate and you will be entered into a drawing. We'll draw the winner on the Smash the Crate video where me and my mother and husband actually try every single product. That way we're gonna let you know what's worth it and what's not, okay? Or once again, if look, if you just want these bites and you don't wanna take a chance, go ahead and use the link in the description to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate. Okay, I can't wait to smash all this stuff. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto, and share this video with someone that needs to know all about these keto snacks. Ding that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Time to get snacking. Bye.